Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gold with white. Official weight, 206.2 pounds. As a professional, he has a record of one win with one KO to his credit. But as a mixed martial artist, his record stands at 27 victories, including 18 wins by knockout, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and Boca Raton, Florida. The Cage Rage World Champion, the UFC World Champion, he is Vitor, the Phenom. And across the ring, in the red corner, his opponent wearing purple, official weight, 225.4 pounds. His professional record, 44 victories, including 29 big knockouts. He comes to us from Atlanta, Georgia, USA. He's a six-time world champion, the former undisputed, undefeated cruiserweight champion. He was the former undisputed, undefeated heavyweight champion. And he's the only five-time heavyweight champion of the world from the Boxing Hall of Fame, the legendary Evander Realde Holyfield. People love him. Everybody loves Evander, and he's nobody had a better career than him, I would say. There's almost nobody. Made me such a fan of the sport. Yeah, he's phenomenal. Always in shape. Just a great representative also. Just a good person. You know, yeah. so many of these he guys is. just yeah. go off the rails. I mean, Evander's always been solid as an individual, as an American. Just a great, you know, God-fearing guy. And a great work ethic as well. It showed, you know, Look at him. lose. I think you're going to learn a lot He'd by lose, the first minute. Better shape. Yeah. Better shape. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. First sure. minute's going to tell you a lot. That's true. We're going to see true. what's happening. Yeah. Say right now, short flight. <laughs> but one thing I'll say, Vitor looks very sharp. Doesn't he look sharp? All right. All right. Well, let's, let's go. Roll. Let's see if Evander can control the ring right off the bat. Yeah, Vitor was getting prepared to fight a lighter guy. And now he's fighting a oh. heavier. That's interesting because. Yeah. A much lighter guy, actually. What, what was that strong. weight difference? For De La Hoya? De La Hoya was coming wow. in what? It would be like 40 pounds. Yeah, it's like 40 yeah, what, pounds. 180, 185? Around that, yeah. Vanda, Vanda said, oh, this guy was supposed to fight De La Hoya, and now he's fighting me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the prep time, right? I mean, I know Evander's been training. He's he had the time in the ring to get to that, you know, pinnacle of performance for yeah. a fight like this. And he wasn't uh, focused on this fight. You know, he was just training. Yeah, and you're training to a different yeah. fight, right? I mean, yeah. each each fight is going to be a different training regime. But he's not punching oh, oh, oh. like he did. He's just, it's oh. up. yeah. Uh -oh. It's up. Uh -oh. He's, cool he's not, smoke. not, uh. Vitor's yeah. oh. looking to put him out. He's bringing the smoke, bro. Oh, oh, oh. 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 That could have been bad. He didn't hit him. I think that was a slip. Yeah. He missed the punch. He missed the punch. Was there a punch or no? He missed the punch. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it was a miss. A slip. Yeah, it's uh, looking a little tough out there for Evander right now. Yeah. Oh, 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 good uppercut. They put him out. Good uppercut. Put him down. Get up, get up. The reflexes ain't the same once you no. get older. He's That's got, first thing you no, know. he's not the same. Jorge, you may have called That jab, one. that jab is not, yeah. I mean, who can say it is, but he's uh, he's having a hard time out there, it looks like. Yeah, he's, he's not seeing this straight enough. Smells blood and water. I don't see him get hurt. Yeah, Vitor knows that, knows that he needs this. Yeah, he's just he yeah, stopped. His hands are too yeah. fast. Yeah, you could see that right from the beginning. Right from the beginning, you could see it. He was, just, he was not the same fighter. Well, yeah. He was, he lost a lot. That left jab was very slow. He lost a lot. But look, he didn't like it that the referee stopped the fight. Yep. So, we yeah. said for the first minute, and you could see yeah. immediately yeah. that yeah. that was not Evander. It's an honor being with you guys, I'll tell you. He got hit with everything. Oh, oh the uppercut. That was the uppercut that did it. Yeah. yeah. It's the reflexes, man. 
you don't see it no more. So unusual to see. We know he's much older and it's so unusual to see because we've watched him win for his whole life. Yeah. yeah. For a big part of our lives, we've watched him just win and beat everybody that was expected to win oh, yeah. and Evander would beat him. Yeah. But this was not the same. This was twice. not the same Evander. Yeah. Peter, in many ways. In many ways. Peter was ready. Ready for this fight. Look how good, uh, how good shape Peter he was. Peter was strong, man. That, yeah. That, you you yeah. see the way he lines those punches Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. He came in hard. He was enjoying every moment. Look at that. He, it was very smart of him to see that opening and throw that uppercut. You know? Yeah. You can tell he didn't want to go long rounds. He wanted yeah. this to end quick. He came in throwing bombs from the jump. So Evander's complaining a little bit about it stopping. I, I think you probably had to, right? It's better. Yeah, he's a I don't want to see him yeah. get hurt. Yeah, he doesn't want to see He's a, a hard fighter. Want to see him he never will accept the yeah. defeat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, but it, it would only got worse. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sam Burgos steps in and calls a halt to this contest. The official time at the ending, one minute, 49 seconds of the very first round. The winner by TKO victory, Vitor the Phenom Bellpaw. We're watching here for one second. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Quickly. <laughs> so, you hate to describe it this way, Sean, but in the end, it turned out to be easy work for the Phenom. Yeah, it was easy work for the Phenom, and then, you know, I, I just can't help but speak to Holyfield. The, the fight is always the last one to know. So, again, he's, he's putting up the argument. It's a legitimate argument. I'm not out on my feet. We don't want you to go out on the stretcher. Right. So that's why the fight was stopped. I want to thank all of you guys that came to Florida. The show was fascinating. We bring in Evander Holyfield now. Evander, obviously, uh, we don't have a mic for it. Let's wait just a second to get a mic. Yeah, let's get a mic for it. Here you go, a headset. All right, Evander, just take us through, first of all, the stoppage. How did you feel about it? Well, I did the thing is the guy pushed me. The guy's strong. I like that, but I, I wasn't hurt. Yeah. Take us through that knockdown. He caught you with an uppercut, but it looked like your feet just kind of gave out. Yeah, yeah. The, the thing is, it wasn't no shot that, that really hurt me real bad. He was strong, and he, and he, and he hit me a shot, and I was all bounced. Then he's going to bump me with his shoulder. Well, you told your daughters you weren't going to get hurt. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. No, I'm not. So how would you describe this whole experience tonight? I, well, it, it's kind of sad. Um, yeah. You know, I, I just, you know, it is what it is. Well, what do you want to say to all your, your fans watching right now who tuned in to see you give it a go one more time? Well, and, and, and nothing no more than uh, I think it was a bad call. I, I think the referee should should allow. I'm telling you, she stopped the fight that quick. Mm -hmm. the, I'm telling you, the guy pushed me off. The guy was strong and all that. And, you know, and the fact of the matter, when when people got fast hands, fast hands like, like that, and you, you – only thing that I would try to agree. go to you don't look like you hurt. I'm not. Would you be interested in, in maybe you and Mike doing something a little later? Of course I would. Yeah, maybe that's what's next. So you got a little taste. How did it feel to make that ring walk one more time? You were you looked as mean as I've ever seen you. Right. Oh, that's just acting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's just acting. You know. All right. <laughs> well, hey, what do you, what do you think about Vitor Belfort though? He's going to stick around in this boxing game. Did you? It was a quick fight, but does he have some legitimate skills? And well, he could, he could, but the, the fact of the matter, you know, he, you know, you know, me not being able to bounce back like I used to and, right. and all that and move around, I, I, let, I let him get too close to me. All right, well, hey, we appreciate you coming out, putting your life on, not putting your life on, but putting your career on the line. <laughs> 58 years old, you look better than any 58-year-old that I've ever seen in my life. So keep staying in shape, keeping an inspiration for everybody. You're my all-time favorite fighter. Thanks right. so much. Right, thank you. All right. And now we go to Ashley in the ring, who's with Vitor Belfort. Vitor, I got to grab you. Sorry. Congratulations thank on you. an epic win. Now, you were known as an MMA fighter, but now you have beat the champ. So can we see more from you for boxing? A hundred percent. First of all, I want to thank Holyfield, Holyfield team to step it up. And like I said, I came to knock people out. 
You know, you bring it, I bring it back, I bring it harder. We get a lease of opponents. Get ready, boxers. You gotta come to my world. He a trailer, we're gonna mix. We're gonna make this even. We gotta make this even. Champions, don't be afraid of weight division. Putting fine if I lose a weight, a pound. Come fight me, meet me in a way, let's do it. Besides that, I wanna call Ryan here because we got a big announcement. We know that a lot of people make money today. In my knockout, DraftKings, they've been a lot of money. It's great. But we get announced that it's a fight that's gonna happen. He earned the respect, but he's still a Disney World kid. And we got $25 million. The winner take all. Let's go. Hey, Jake Paul, stop running from me, man. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. You can be my kid. You're gonna meet daddy over here at Trilla. Stop running, you little bitch. Wow. Yeah.